Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Total War Attila, at least with the 1212 AD mod. Here we're fighting Silesia's forces, but there's not plenty of troops, plus we are being reinforced. Don't really need or want to fight this battle, could have been interesting if we were on our own, but given that we are supported by another army i don't think we're really going to to bother with the battle itself now we're starting to get once again into some of those incidents the territory i guess of catholicism and buildings that are not of our type so basically not like we had here in greece so there will be slower progress on one side, try to play it slightly more uh, carefully and things like that. So let's see, what do we have here? Recruiting blacksmith. If I was to recruit a unit, yeah, there's nothing special that I want. I'm gonna destroy the blacksmith. A master ground. I could turn into a garrison, which might be good for this area. But we're already missing quite a bit of food, so I think I'm gonna demolish that. A forge mill that can be transformed into a mosaic artisan. I think I'll destroy this one as well. I like the tavern. I'll keep it. I like the wheat fields. I'm gonna keep those as well. And I'm thinking that what I'll be throwing in is probably something that works with sanitation. And after that, something that works with good public order. Now, I don't know how to take care of this. Ready for orders. This guy right here might be a bit problematic for us. Going forward, but we'll see. I am going to give him to authority because that minus to morale is really bad. And what else are we going to do? Well, let's take a look at some of our messages we demolished the fairground so now we have here a city square which provides plus two to public orders and some wealth this is definitely better than one we have be before yeah our orthodox should be going up mm, i'm not gonna transform anything yet let's take a look what do we have here cow shed a uh, cow shed has been built And this will provide us with even more food. So now we're at minus 30, which is better than before. We also built a school in Belgrade. We have some food. Could go further in with even more food, just so we have enough to support the castle. Yeah, it's going to be like, we're going to need more there. Okay. Now, there are a few things I've been thinking of. Like, in order to ensure that we get enough speed, I want us to get a few catapults. So, I'll bring this army over here. And I'm going to recruit two catapults. And then we're going to come this way. And we're going to start a war with the Kazanet of Kiev. They're very close. Their armies are close too, so... It's going to be a dangerous situation going forward. But at the same time I feel like it's important to do it. Okay, let's take a look at all of our agents and see what we can discover. We have the pyramids over here. What do the pyramids do? The pyramids... Oh, yeah, we saw this last time. I am with you. But this is for what? For the seat of the Coptic Pope, actually. Okay, with you, I am going to come this way. Like, these are cities that are raised to the ground, or maybe they're not even built at the beginning of the game. I am not truly sure. With you, 
uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you over to this side. See if the Teutonic Knights are around there. There's not much else that we can do with this priest. Providing him with zeal, authority and stuff like that will not really help. But that's that. Okay, we uh, have an army in place. So, Wars Public Order. Let's see, Wars. Wars is in Belgrade, actually. But we're recruiting. Okay, everything else, like, seems for just for the moment, while we do have these kind of modifiers here, Public Order up to plus 10 from the present of Greek Christianity, that is going to help us a lot. We'll have to double check it once this is over. If we're taking a look here, I could go to minus 10 food, but we'd get more development to roads from 30 to 60, which will improve a lot of things. I guess I am going to come this way. Uh, how about our religion? Religion is going up. Mostly it's going up because of these modifiers. Most likely at least. Let's see. What else we have here? Food. Some more trade. Do I want to go even further here? I'm getting a lot... A lot of food, but I don't think there's anything in there that I want to add anymore. I guess I am going to transform this building. More food in Rus, definitely. I uh, can't transform that yet. Could go further in with the silver, but we're getting corruption. Yeah, I guess we'll just sit on this money as much as we can for now. Okay. Finally, we have a few ranking. What do we want? Personal influence, integrity, morale of commanded force, minus 10 upkeep for noble units. Oh, this would fit better for a general. We don't have any general on us. Hmm. It does offer integrity to all forces and things like that. I am going to bring you here. For you, I am going to put you in this position. Minus 10 construction cost in all region, that is great. I am going to move you up as well. Not gonna be that great for the region itself, but it should offer you... Maybe I'll put you up here. For the more in for more influence. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. And I'll put the second guy here. And then I might change some of these as well to bring them higher. Mm. Other than these, there I don't think there's anything else I wanna do. Taking a look at the diplomatic map. The Kingdom of Jerusalem, like most of the people like them. Welcome, we guests. might want to just start trading with them as well. Getting some sugar in. Be welcome. Okay, Let let's do this as well. Principality of Antioch. Welcome, worthy friend. I trust you bring words that honor both your people and ours. Okay, that's it. Let's end the turn. Governor. A governor, you are in Ras. Okay. I think at this point, just public order. And with Bogdan. Tax. 
and wealth from cultural buildings. Even though he's in Tergoviste where we need a lot of public order, I think we'll just sit still for now. We are a yeah, we can't really make non-aggression pacts with all of them. We'll stay with Austria. The Teutonic Knights are in the area. And they'll be fighting the Kazanet as well. We respect In our people's name, I, I don't really care for military access. To give them any of that. Ooh. Does Silesia have any more land? Yeah, a lot of this is. Let's decree whatever we can. We're gonna take some losses there. A military advisor, authority plus two. Okay, great. An Orthodox church in Nice. More wheat fields. Now we're at 95 food. Okay, that is good for us. Militia garrison over here. We could go. If we wanted to go, we could go to a metropolis, but we don't have the uh, right amount of food. Belgrade, a castle has been constructed. We are at zero. Outrage populacy. Yeah, now we're losing all of these. At least we still have the osmosis where it's going up. Orthodox Christianity is going up. Taxes, character, difficulty, religious differences and disease. Yeah, don't know how to make this one, this place even happier, but... Illuminated Bible, okay. And hostile agent success. I do wonder, like... What type of trace does... Oh, he, they do not have a governor. There are some food problems here in the winter. Our future king became fearful, amorous at the same time. A lively, <laughs> less loyalty, foreign interest. Okay. A lot of events, nothing too impressive. Hmm, I think what I'm gonna do is, like, I'll continue south. I wanna see what's around here. This is the Kingdom of Makuria. Over here. Yeah, let's take this agent up north. I wanna bring the spies in the south just to keep an eye on our neighbors. I will be moving this army like here and let's recruit ourselves to catapults. For you, spread religion. Theodore. I'm going to bring it this way and then we're gonna start marching to the north. Okay. No other way. The Kingdom of Sicily is in here. So, what does Silesia still have that the assassin is there? The Kingdom of Silesia seems to have like something of a... One more territory. So the Duchy of Pomerania is to the north, in the Kingdom of Silesia. Oh, these are Wendish Petrenders, there are something else. But they still have some sort of army around there. Well, here what we could do. I could throw in an Orthodox Chapel and the Fountain. A 
for pub for public order. We could go with a gibbet, gibbet, or we could put in a tavern as well, which might not be a bad idea. Mm, yeah, we'll destroy this one as well. This is like 60, 80 food. A cattle herd is also, I think, maybe the better choice here. But maybe we'll stay with the wheat fields first. And then I'm going to put here... Well, yeah, let's go with the tavern. And I'm not going to change it to a metropolis just yet, though. Let's see, for public order, yeah, I'll want a stronghold there. Whenever we can build it, but we're not, we're not yet there yet. I think what I am going to do here, as I said before, is I'll go with these advanced medical codices. Then we're gonna go with the craftsman guilds, and finally the quarantine protocol, just so we don't, uh, so that we lose these diseases. This is infectivity minus one, probably more important than anything else. After that, imported arms and armor, that's definitely going to be what we're going for. But by that point, I'm hoping that things will be stabilized. We hunger for battle. Are you ready to serve? And I think that should be about all. For this level up, uh, how is public order here? Well, it's not great, it's not bad either. But I am going to give him a few more points. Remember with no, you are too far from us. If Austria were to ask for a defensive pact, maybe I would take it, or Venice, because they're nearby. Taking one with a region that's too far away, especially when we don't have a whole lot of military near them, doesn't sound like the smartest thing to do. Okay, here is the Kingdom of Silesia. More diseases in all of these regions. Absolutely awful. Their spy. Let's come around. You know what? I'll march this army quickly over here. And now we're gonna attack them. We're gonna take them out of the game. They have good spies. And they do have a good... Assassin as well. What else could I be going for here? I guess more food. Seems like we're missing a lot of food. I think I'm going this way. At the same time, we're making 200 per turn, so I am going to stop taxing them. It's gonna be a small advantage. Okay, let's see. Um, he has the ability to attack us there directly to besiege us, but I'm not sure he's going to do it. We've made a school. Great. A platea somewhere in here. And instead of this one... How much food are we making? 10 food. So what are we going to do with the 10 food? The Boar's Palace is not a bad idea. Tavern could be good as well. For the public order. More research is not bad either. Even this is good. Let's see, what is our corruption in the area? Mm, well, it says minus 16. Do 
there's goal up, goal up, up here. We're making 2,000 per turn. You know what? I think throwing in a gibbet is a good idea. And I'm also going to go with the cow shed. For that extra food. On the rest of our agents... I think we're almost done with what we wanted to do with them. Yeah. So... The Kazanet definitely has a lot of strength. We'll have to be very careful here. On how we, we decide to go about. Let's take a look in these lands as well. Okay, anything else? Well, not now. So, let's end the turn, let's see what's happening. We have plenty of money, but we'll keep it aside for whenever we, we get the next upgrades for for schools especially. We are not a friend for the new moon and an enemy in the old. Republic of Genoa, no. Neither with you. Kingdom of Sweden. <laughs> we have room from what I saw. I don't think I discovered them yet. It's probably somewhere up here. The Papal States won non-aggression. Sure. For 270. Let's say yes. Okay. Noble birth, illegitimate birth, more diseases. Okay, Mamelukes and Makuria. They just got sacked, but they didn't get taken over. Interesting. We might want to piece them out or something. And focus all our forces towards the east. Okay. Now I am going to bring... Put them in force march and bring our forces this way. As we are about to take on Tsuchaba, take it back. We have some problems here with integrity. Mostly from being sick. So let's give some of these back. What else do we want to, to have on our troops? Maybe more armor for our un for our commander, definitely. Okay. Well, with that in mind, over here, we just have to do this. There's not a whole, there's not a big plan of what to do when he has so many depleted troops. The only thing you can do is mercifully take them out. Okay. Mm, I am going to step a bit further and put you in fortify. Now at this point, I actually think that going attacking with one of them, one of these armies along this road while bringing the second one over here probably going to be a good idea we just need one of the towns in order to become an empire okay stone in the south we're at minus six 
We have some problems with sanitation. I am going to be destroying this and putting in a fountain. An orthodox key. We're still making a lot of gold, so I am going to go even further with this building. Here we're making good olive oil. 65 food, so this is perfect for us. In Belgrade... Okay, in Belgrade we're doing better. Hmm. Not sure I need to do anything else other than what we've done. And once again, I'm going to end the turn with a lot of money in our bag. I am certain that with your famed wisdom, they want a military alliance. You know what? You Let's say yes. We find our uh, they want defensive alliance. Us to pay them in order to have a defensive alliance. Ah, we're just going to work with you. So, sorry about this, but. I am certain that with a defensive alliance, no, I'm not going to go into that. More consumption in one turn. Finally getting one more sanitation, university and baths. Great. Here we are at minus three. Okay, we're starting to, to have a better situation overall. Do I want less gold for more influence and sanitation or do we want to go like this with influence and public order? I think I do. Okay, let's see what's here in the dark as well during the next turn. I'm going to bring this guy over here, because I'll be splitting the forces up. Okay, seems like they're undefended, the lands are undefended. Okay, let's see, will they join? They did join. Great. Well, here we are. One of the things that we could do now, because we do have two catapults, is that we can break down their gates from a distance, under towers, so we don't need to wait. And we are going to attack them in that way. I have catapults here as well. What do I want to take first? Krakow or Halis? I think going for Halis is better because we do have more Orthodox. Here we have more Catholic. This is freshly conquered for him. But I think that is pretty good because at this point he is forced, he will be forced to deal with our troops. He might be focusing on one army or he might want to go both ways, I'm not really sure but we'll have to see. Okay, I said I'm gonna build a fountain here. At this point I'm going to move my military over here. Still a lot of problems. But we're gonna take care of things along the way. Let's see. Shall I be making a final army? At this point we're almost at the limit. Of how low do I want to go with my money. 
I think I'll wait just to build those schools. Nothing's going to be better than having schools, having universities, and getting that extra extra rich search in. Let's see, we are in a balanced situation. I could take like some of these guys and put them here. Let's see, who is in Tergoviste? Bogdan is in Tergoviste, okay. Well. I guess he's already at the top. But yeah, well, that's going to be about it for this episode. A very slow episode as far as what are we doing. But hopefully now we've set ourselves up for a few great battles going on ahead. Yeah, and with this being said, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Until then, thank you very much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.